Hi everyone, uh, this is my very first video on my own screen. So say I have downloaded a program that will help me uh, film what I'm doing on the screen. And it's called Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. It's good. Well, I will show you how I do to uh, coloring a drawing and I have prepared with my drawing uh, which I have done with uh, normal pens pencils n not in Photoshop and I will just uh, get that control O and you will end up here and we will take this one and it's not edited at all so we have to do this uh, first uh, press C and you get to the cut and you will crop not cut crop and you will make the image as small as possible we don't need the extra uh, the extra white it's, it's just unnecessary now we have uh, the size that we want but I want uh, the white part to be really white and the black part to be black. So press Ctrl L or go to image and uh, levels, it's the same. And here we can uh, decide how black the black lines will be and how white the white areas should be. And we want it really, really, really white and really black. And this one in the middle, you can uh, adjust the whole picture. And we want it really white without smudging out the black lines. So, well, no, yeah, that's okay. And press OK. We don't need that one. Now we have a picture that I want to color in. And... Uh, we have the <laughs> background here. We don't want all the white around, so we just go to the magic eraser tool here on the left side. Press that and make sure this one is uh, set like that. And you push. Oh, voila! It's really nice. Um, when you have done this, you um, create a new layer, and that you do there, put it under, for now, uh, and the layer, the first layer, you just, not, not so, uh, right click, and go, and what, where it is? No, it was not that one here. Multiply. So, then you push layer 1 again. And we shall see if I can color it in a good way. Here's my colors. Uh, I use a very normal brush. And look, beautiful. But you can still draw outside the lines and that we don't know, uh, want so uh, uh, press control Z and you're back to normal and we will do this go back to layer O zero yeah and then you take the magic wand tool press outside the horsey here it's good right then we go back to layer 1, uh, take our pencil, and oh shit, ah, I forgot something, wait, uh, we just regret that, go back to layer 0, go to, oh, now we will see here, where do you go, you go to, uh, select, select you go to, 
and then press inverse. Now the horse is marked and not the background. Then you lock this layer, you don't want to mess with that, and go back to layer 1. Now you choose a better color for a horse, and we take a... Um, ah, uh, this one will be good. And now you start to draw. Oh, it was very, very, very small. I want it soft. And it was not that. Uh, it works. This you can fix later here. And I want the whole horse to be this color, brown, grayish. Oh my god, this. We take this one instead. What the fuck? Ah, you should push harder with your pencil and then it. Yeah, okay. I feel like a noob. So, all the tail. And I will just excuse myself for my bad English. I'm sorry about that. I'm not from uh, any English speaking country. I'm from Sweden. So, I will just. Uh, yeah, you understand. And if you don't understand some parts, then uh, just subscribe and I will try to explain better. But it's gnarly, not gnarly, it's not really that hard. And soon my horsey will be greyish. All of it. I like to start like this because you have. Um, uh, what you call it in English, ground color. You have one solid color that your shading can uh, attach to, maybe you can say. So, it's gray. It's good. Then you can do it in so many different ways. You can, you can uh, add up like a million layers. I don't... It's... I can do that when I do really detailed work, but I'm not here. So I go here, push a darker one, and uh, start filling in the dark parts on the horse that I want to shade. Uh, I do want it to be a little bit... less visible so then I put the opacity down really down and then I can begin you see it's a little bit shading but we, we can make it a bit more so you see here and you have all the lines it's just to follow them and the shading will end up end up uh, real good uh, and if you don't want to do the shading as uh, small as I do just um, ah, just fix the opacity and it will fast get more visible we can put it here you see see now it's not really fresh, you see the edges are very visible and that was that I wanted to avoid. But you can do this at this way also. You can do it however you want. Uh, and we do a very quick shading, a very rough. So we can go on to the to the highlights. The legs shall always be a little bit darker if you don't have markings on them. And uh, yeah, just follow the lines. It will end up really good. Uh, uh, under the head, 
always be dark there. So we go on. Oh my god, it turned really dark. Doesn't matter. Uh, the good part in Photoshop is that you can always regret. You can always make a do-over, and uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty good. You will make a, a mess and a lot of mistake. Uh, so it is. I have done it too, and <laughs> here is one example of uh, how to screw things up but we have a shaded horse okay uh, then we go back to this and we choose a lighter color and now you take uh, the parts of the horse that are not in uh, uh, near a line so this one pop up a bit this one Okay, my instructions were bad, but between the the shading, you can say. And how much uh, highlighted you wanted, it's up to you. If you want to be advanced, you can also think about where you want the light to come from. If you come from here, the light highlighted would be more here and less here and a little bit of the mane too. And of course the tail. But it's it's uh, advanced. But if you can uh, work with it, it's gonna be real nice horses. So, it's nice, right? <coughs> and it's just uh, uh, try. And if it don't be the way you want, okay, so be it. Do another one. Uh, one more thing that you should know about is that opacity if it's not on uh, 100 which is all the way here it will fill in more when you draw again on the same place do you understand see um, so uh, that could be great to know otherwise uh, it can turn out really frustrate 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 what the fuck it's not good frustrating so uh, and here you have a horse and then you go to the detail work I want the black guy and I want to zoom really really much Aye. And then I take my pencil, make it smaller, oh, a bit more small, here, and I fill in. Now it's a good time to put it on a hundred, otherwise it, the eye would turn out to grumbly. And I do a very, very simple eye, I just fill it in with black. So, and then... I put the white, make an even smaller brush and do a bit of, um, ah, I don't know what, what it calls, reflection from the light. And then I will zoom out if I knew how. Uh, Not that one. Uh, 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 hand, maybe? So. And there you have an eye. That is okay. And then you would like to paint the hooves. And I, I have a quite time to decide which color. 
and I f well take any one. This one we can take. And a pencil. Zoom in as much as you want or nothing at all. And you go over the hooves. Don't forget to shade and highlight your hooves too. It's the small things that makes the picture good. So Okay, the hooves are done with uh, the the base color. And then we go to a darker one. Don't have the opacity at 100. We have it in 50. And you take the uh, front and the back of the hoof and shade it. Shade, shade, shade. The hooves are quite round, right? So uh, you have to make it visible that it is round hooves and not flat hooves. Then you go to the highlight. Up, up, up. And in the middle you will put your highlights. If you're not happy with it or want to highlight more, well, just add a lighter color and highlight again. Don't smooth out your fine shading, just take inside of your shading. Good hooves, it's okay. Uh, we still have the muscle core, the core, core left. It was swinglish. And you, you see, it's not black, it's just because the opacity isn't on 100. Now it's better. So, we also want to fill in the ears with a little darker color. And if you want the color that you already used, you can just push with the pipette. And you have it here. And we want it darker, so we go there. And then we just draw. Oh, here you need a little bit of shading. Yeah. So, uh, and I want it even darker. So we go down almost to the black part and take the inner ear to a darker level. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. Uh, then you have this one that I have drawn and it's a shadow, it's a bold shadow. So now we take the really black part and draw. This shadow come from this leg and cover it all up and it gets, it gives a little bit uh, depth into the image. So it's good to have some um, shadow that is really bold. Then I will shade a bit more and I put the opacity down and my brush up. If you have bigger brush um, the shading would be smoother. I think. <laughs> so it's a nice nice one but not as good as I want. You see the opacity makes it not smooth and I'm not happy with it. So this is a training thing. Um, you just have to learn not to do more strikes than you need. Stripes. Oh I, don't oh, I hate when it lags. So now you can um, shade a little bit more. You have your uh, your ground so say and here it seems flat oh not not more stripes than you know you use see <sighs> so 
and here also. And now you have a, a pretty nice horse. And you can do this for like forever. The shading never ever stops. Um, but I want some markings on the horse. And then you go to nearly white. Not really white, it's not gonna turn out well. And then you place your markings. And you want to have opacity 100. And then you make a smaller brush when you decide where you want the marking. The sock. I want the sock like that and a high sock on the back. And no, nothing more. We can take a little bit of a star too. So, fill in. We can have a snip too. Big snip. And I go up, so cute. And then you fill in. Now you can have a bigger brush if you want. Oh shit, regret. Make sure you stay in lines. So nice. Oh, this sock is big. So we have a bigger brush. Time is money. Oh, the good thing with the marking is it doesn't really uh, matter if you go outside the line you you drew here. Um, it's just do it again and uh, make it uh, cooler or better. Here though, you need to be really on your edge. So, but what do we have to think about when we do socks on our horse legs? Yeah, the hooves are not as, as dark as the other ones. So we take our pipette and we use this color, make it a little bit redder and lighter and we do it over 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 so oopsie inside lines so ah, it's good and we do it all over again the shading oh not the shading oh there we have the color and we want that, not 100 opacity. And we shade. And we shade a bit more. You know what? Uh, the ground color that you use, you will not see much of it when you're done. It's just so you have a color uh, to begin your work with. So, and we want a really light one to highlight with. And I will highlight this a bit because it turned out darker than I wanted. And then I can do a highlight, one more highlight. See? And the hooves are quite good. And the horse looks quite nice. So, this is it. You can do this at home. Uh, I use uh, bamboo Wacom, wait, Wacom, Wacom drawing pad and a pencil pen that come with it. It's uh, really nice to have and this one costs about 1000 Swedish crowns. Uh, it's okay. And it's good, it's big. So when I have, uh, when I'm happy with my horse, I go to File, Save As. I don't want it like a Photoshop um, type, you want it in JPEG.
GPEG. And you want it named Grey Horse. Oh, we can name it. Save. Here you decide the quality of your uh, of your uh, drawing, and I want large. Yeah, you can make it larger than that, but it's a whole other thing, and it's a bit harder, and I don't remember how. So we 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 skip that, and okay. And your horse are saved. We can watch it. Oh, <laughs> tutorial. Um, and we go to documents, go where you put it, actually, and my computer is slow. Here. Yeah, here it is. And then you can use it to whatever you want. Oh my god, I can't 